The European Cricket Championship is proudly brought to you by Dream 11, HCL Software, Junta de Andalucía and Stake.com. Welcome to everybody and welcome to, well, the start of another group. It's going to be an absolute cracker, this group C. Already we're seeing Denmark play some, well, I've got to say, some scintillating cricket to beat Italy. They certainly made a statement with Dunbar and he said they've got a good team. That's a really good start. This could be out first ball, you know. It will be. It is going to be a royal duck. First ball as Baluch gets the ball right on the money. And Alexandra Dizia is going to have to go. I don't think there's too much to add about this. Gets this away for one, maybe more, as it's missed in the infield. Running away, and it'll get there. So the first boundary for Serbia. Well, this is going to be four. It's edged away. There's no one down deep third. Oh, that's a shot. That's a really, really good shot that time. A bit proactive that time, Ivatic, like what I'm seeing. And Serbia have their first ECC Maximo. <laughs> this is driven pretty nicely as well by Dunbar. And he'll get his first boundary. That's a confidence builder for Adrian. Skrona area. Ooh, could be gone. He is gone. If there's no bat in that, it seems to be knocking them out of the ground. The change of pace does the trick, and the captain's going to have to go. Ivanic goes for 19. Immediate success with Takawi. It's 29 for two. Yeah, he said, this guy's a sensational bowler. I love watching him bowl Zaka Takawi. He took 11 wickets last year. He was their leading wicket taker. But he's got all the tricks. And just look at this one. It's just the pace of it. It's nice and slow. You can see after being frustrated and being kept outside the off stump, he thinks, yeah, this is more like, this is more where I like it. Goes for it. Doesn't get it right. It probably doesn't come up as much mm. that he expected to. So Zakari, he gets the wicket as well. Remember, he took three, three for his last time around. Took three for 14 versus Denmark, and three for 18 against Hungary. He's a top player, and it's going to be put away. So yeah, it allows the strike to change. Dunbar goes maximo, and it takes us to the end of the fifth over. It's 38 for two. Yeah, nice shot. Goes after it, throws the hands. One bounce, four. So, Wintley isn't going to die wondering either. This was just tailing away from him. And their team here will see a number of youngsters. I mean, it's a miss. It's got to be out for me. If this doesn't hit the bat, yeah, there's the finger. The umpire yeah. takes a long, hard look. It's a, Once again, it's a full delivery. I think he takes the pace of it again. It's clever bowling. Burton plays all around it. Clonks him in front. And that, for me, is a straightforward decision. Yeah, again, we saw Wintley not pick that slow ball earlier in the over. Got away with that one with a swing and a miss. But this time, it looks very, very adjacent to me. Just trying to hit across a ball that I think is taking out middle stump or something close to. Let's check it out in the replay. Thanks to Spring Productions. And that's good morning, good afternoon, and good night to Wintley, who's going to have to go. Good decision once again, Asad Ali in the hot seat and it gets it spot on. Umpiring has been very, very good, I've got to say, so far. Whitley does hit one boundary, but has to go for seven. It's 45 for three. That's a good shot. That's where the gap is as well. And it won't quite go for six, but almost. Cuatro Carreras. Ayo is in the house as he brings up the 50 for Serbia. Well, that's out as well, I think. You might be almost bowled, but guess what? You're actually LBW. And Dunbar won't believe it, but when he looks at the replay, he probably will, because he sneaks right in front of the stumps. And for me, it hits him in line. It's going on to hit, and I think it's another good decision, Rico. Yeah, it is. I mean, look, all the wickets so far have all been LBW, so that tells me one thing, that Sweden, they've executed the lines well. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it comes in, doesn't it? I don't think it's pitching outside off. It sneaks inside. It hits him low down. That's going to be hitting the stumps. Watch this again. Yeah, look where that impact is. Yeah, that's out for me. And uh, I think when Dunbar goes back and looks at it, he's going to say, yeah, fair play. As I said, Ali, I think he gets that spot on. He probably feels like he might have got outside the line there, Adrian, but I think it's, it's a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to you have me surprised for well, a moment there. Simonich is going to have to go now as Chowdhury comes back in the night. Sorry, I misunderstood the question. <laughs> uh, but, look, okay, yeah, you can see... Zimnich was finding it pretty hard going. He kind of gives up his stumps, steps away a little bit. 
Chowdhury hits the target, and so Serbia are going to lose a fifth wicket. It's 53 for five. Yeah, Chowdhury does, I think, what the other bowlers sort of struggled to do, really, in a way. They, though they bowled pretty full, they, they couldn't hit the target. And Chowdhury comes on and says, this is the way to do it, boys. Full, straight, boom. Jagadu Pate, Stumps get knocked over. Simonic will have to go, but fair play, as I said, to the Swedish bowlers, because... We've seen so far four LBWs on one clean bowler. That tells you one thing. They're executing their lines pretty good. Yeah, having a, a genuine out-and-out -out keeper, I think, is is important. This will be out. Oh, that's gone as well, I think. Yeah. What a great bit of fielding this is. Well, we talk about moments. Maybe we're talking about HCL software play of the day. Well, this could be it. It's a fantastic bit of fielding. And have a look at this. You're not going to see the bat in, in this shot. I'm pretty sure of it. As the stump gets knocked out of the ground, that's impressive from Khalid Zahid. Yeah, you can't really blame Ayo there. You know, it had to be a perfect piece of fielding. The thing was, it was a perfect piece of fielding. Yes, yes, yes. Well, this will be four. He squeezes away again. But other than that, they've been pretty good. Oh, that's nice to see. It's time to get a little bit of funky. Showtime. All right, well, this is the last ball. I'll probably try for two. Probably no reason not to. Uh, one reason was the ball was already in the keeper's club, so they'll settle for one. And so it's all the sixes for Serbia. They're going to finish 66 for six off the 10. 67 to bring up the victory. So far, so good for Sweden. Sweden at the crease. Here we go. The first ball a little bit short and it is pounded. And we'll have to have a look at this one. And this one a little bit too short. This one isn't going to stay in the field of play at all. Maximo. Last ball of the over coming up. And this is hammered. And the field is not going to stop this one either. So Zubak gets into his work. Uh, the first one is slightly ill-directed. It's going to be four. Got a little bit too close to Cher Ali. And Cher Ali hitting boundaries. And, well, rinse and repeat. This time it might have gone all the way. I believe it has. I'm going to call from here. Maximo. But, yeah, you're right. It won't be easy. This is too short. And when it's short, it's going to get put away. It's going to be manos. Arriba, 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 Vitro. Porque eso es seis más. Oh, yeah. Well, this is high. No outfielder back here, traveling and out of the ground. Maximo. And he will draw a false shot. It's a bit harsh on the youngster because that's going to be four. 399 boundaries in fours. And well, that's another one of those. It won't be the 400. We're way above 400 because we had a few of them. And this is dropped. Oh, it was hit hard. Straight at Jovan Rev. In fact, it's hit so hard. It's still going to go to the boundary. Four more. And it's heaved leg side. This will be another boundary. Oh, that'll be the end of the game. And it's on a nick. You know, credit to Nadelkovic there. Did a very, very decent job of trying to extend things. But it's a bit of a walk in the park for the Swedes who get their first points of the series. In fact, they'll do it with 37 balls to spare, chasing it in 3.5 overs. Comprehensive stuff from Team Sweden.